In this lesson, we're going to be looking at a typical uh, measurements, geometry, and trigonometry question taken from the CXC past paper, May 2012. Question 10A states that the diagram below, not drawn to scale, shows a quadrilateral QRST in which QS is equal to 7 centimeters, ST is equal to 10 centimeters, QT is equal to 8 centimeters, angle SRQ is equal to 60 degrees, and angle RQ. RQS is equal to 48 degrees. Now QS, if you notice Q to S is 7. This is uh, this side here that I'm running my pointer along, this line segment. And ST, S to T is 10. And if you notice, I'm running my pointer along that. And then QT would be 8 cm. Now they gave us some angles here. The angle SRQ is equal to 60 degrees. Now a very important note, if you want to, to um, identify an angle um, quickly, all you have to do is to look at the, the letter that is in the middle. Any letter that is in the middle, for example, we have an R there. When you look on the diagram, you should look at the point R. That's where the angle is being formed. Okay, so any letter that is in the middle, that's where the angle is being formed. For example, for example if you notice here, they're speaking about the angle RQS. And if you notice, now we have a Q in the middle, and that's where the angle is being formed at the point Q, which is 48 degrees. All right, now, having said all of that now, um, in this situation, to find, to calculate part one, the length of RS, three marks, we're going to have to use the sine rule, okay? And let me explain why. And just as a refresher's course, the sine rule states, and let me just pull it up here for you, my friends, quickly. Now, the sine rule states that little a over sine big A, okay, which is the angle opposite and across from the side, is equal to little b over sine big B, which is equal to little a over sine big A, okay? Now, in any triangle, remember, my friends, that the side, and let me change my pointer now, for example, they gave us this angle here at Q. So the side that is across from the angle that they gave us shares a unique relationship with the angle. So for example, the angle at Q and the side RS that they're asking us to find shares a unique relationship. Hence, we can call another name rather for the side RS is little Q or common Q, okay? And we could do that with a number of sides. For example, if this point here is R, if this angle here is R, then the side that is across from R, the angle R, which is QS, we could call that common R or little r. Likewise, for this side here, the side S, the angle S rather, this angle S here, we could call the side that is across from it, which is RQ, we could call that little s or common s. All right, now having established that now, my friends, uh, one of the scenarios, when to use the sine rule that we have up here, um, a situation such as you must have two angles in a triangle, okay? Because if you notice, this is a quadrilateral, but it can be divided into two two triangles, okay? So for, to solve for the side RS or the side little q, I am going to consider the triangle RQS, okay? So in triangle RQS, I am going to say, okay, I have two angles in that triangle, the 60 degree angle and a 48 degrees. So um, I'm going to match these angles with the opposite sides. Now, if you notice, with the 60 degree angle here at R, I can match it with the side QS, little r, which is 7 cm. All right. So now, my friends, um, having established that, I can move to my little formula to solve for the side, for the side RS. Okay. So here I have, I have it here. So in this formula, my friends, what I'm saying is that little Q up top which would be RS, that's what I'm solving for little q, this is a side down here, that, that's what repre little q represents, is equal to the sine of the angle that is across from it. So if you notice, I would, I'm saying the sine of the 48 degrees angle, okay? And that is equal to little r, which is the pair of angle and side, corresponding side that was given. So if you notice, little r is seven, and big R, the angle here is 60 degrees. So all we're just simply going to be doing, my friends, is to just substitute. Now, remember that RS, my friends, remember that RS that they're asking us to find is the same as little q. Okay, so I'm just going to solve for little q, and then we can state that value for RS, okay? So I'm going to say little q, which I'm trying to find, is e 
all over the sine 48 okay sine 48 and if you notice sine 48 is is the angle BQ okay good and that must be equal to little r and in this case little r here is 7 cm so I can say 7 centimeters 7 upon sine big r which is this angle here at r so I can say the sine sine 60 degrees now my friends quickly we can just um, solve for this by saying little q over the sine sine 48 must be equal to and I'm just going to divide this out so let me just quickly pull up my calculator so oops let's just clear that let's just clear that so here I am saying 7 7 divided by now on my calculator here I am going to have to press 60 then sign okay but on your calculator you may have to press sign and then 60 degrees okay so here I am going to say divided 7 divided by 60 and I'm going to press my sign button okay and that is equal to 8.08290 okay and that's up to 5 dp i'm going to use 5 dp because i don't want to use less than 5 dp it may throw out my final answer okay so let me just make a quick note of this up to 5 dp here we would have let me just change the color here we would have 8.0 it was 8.08 nine zero okay so basically my friends what we have here now we're going to have since sine 48 since we want to isolate since we're solving for q we're going to have to isolate q on this side so we need to take this over now since sine 48 is dividing this side we're going to have to multiply both sides by the sine of 48 so basically what we'll have here is little q over sine 48 okay is equal to 8.08290 and then now I'm going to have to multiply both sides by sine 48 to get rid of it so let's multiply both sides by sine 48 so this is sine 48 upon 1 and what I do to one side of my equation I must do to the other side of the equation so that it can remain true so this will cancel that so I'm left with little q must be equal to let's just change the color now I'm going to pull up my calculator again my friends and on my calculator now um, remember this was the answer that I got earlier okay so basically I can clear that so I can say sine of 48 I'm going to find that first so remember on my calculator I have to write the 48 first however on yours you may have to put in sine first so sine 48 is this number that I have there this irrational number and then I'm just going to simply multiply it by my 8 point let me just pull this over a bit oops you may not be seeing that so let me pull it over so I'm just going to multiply that my that by my 8.08290 okay and that is equal to uh, we have 6.0067 so I'm just going to write that down um, I'm just going to write that down to 3dp so here I have a 6 6.007 to 3 dp now basically when you look on the diagram that it gave us initially if you notice the lengths that they have here they are whole numbers okay they are whole number lengths so basically to remain to to um to be consistent with what is happening i'm just going to write my answer to the nearest whole number okay my friends so that's just another hint so basically here now my friends i would say rs because remember we have stated that rs is the same as little q so since now we have found little q i can say rs is equal to six so this answer written to the nearest whole number is six because if you notice we have a zero here in the first decimal place so um the six would remain and that would be six centimeters all right now in the next video we'll be looking at part two where we'll be using the cosine rule to solve for the angle qts which is this angle up here okay that angle there all right so see you bye bye